Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Zone here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Justice for All. In the last episode, we came upon the Big Berry Circus. We took a look around. We haven't been able to make a whole lot of progress here, but um, we're hoping that things will change in the meantime. Or, well, you know, whatever. Um, where's Gumshoe at again? Do -do -do, he's at the lobbying house, yeah. <laughs> Still looking to the side, too. So, did we present? We presented everything to him, right? Well, he gave us the pictures. There's really no reason to present that. Did we present the profiles? What profiles are we even. Ha oh, holy crap! I haven't even looked at these yet. So, Regina Berry, age 16. Gender female, duh. So that's what Russell Berry looks like. Of course, he's the victim and ringmaster of the Berry Big Circus. It's Gumshoe and Von Karma. All right. Uh, let me see. What do we need to present this to him? I guess affidavits for most of the performers at the circus. They're certainly a strange bunch of characters. You don't say. <laughs> Well, I'm not stranger than you, I suppose. Oh, thanks. Yeah. That was cold. Um... I don't know what to say there. I'm sorry, I was just messing around. <laughs> Whatever. So what about her? What do you know about her? What's the performance at Circus there? Certainly a strange bunch of characters. Yep. Alright, same dialogue there. It's cool. And him, same thing. Wait a minute, looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the cir- What? That's not what he said. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. <laughs> but just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. It's not just his attitude, I've got proof, pal. I HAVE PROOF! Huh? He left something at the scene of the crime. Uh-oh. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well made silk hat. Well, it does have very classy decorative elements. Oh, here we go. Okay. Some more evidence piling up. That's good, though. We need it. Max uses a cloak, silk hat, and white roses as the signature symbols. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Not really. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've never seen anyone in my life wearing that. I don't know if I would trust anyone wearing that either if I did see him. You know, if you're just walking through the grocery store and you see somebody, you know, in a cape and a top hat like that. What? There's a witness? Oh dear, tell us about the witness. Yes. Boy, you could have brought this up sooner. <laughs> well, then again, we're still pretty early in the thing. You know I'm not going to tell you that. That's the prosecution's trump card. Oh. Oh, I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you two are barred from entering that lodging house. No! So why is that? Oh, no reason. Just something I remembered to tell you. Just something I remembered to tell you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh, no, you don't, pal. Okay, we're not getting around this guy. Maybe we should come back with one of Angel Star's steak lunches. Or, wait, no, that was that other guy. Never mind. Uh, so we have a little more evidence, but are we really done? Moe's room? Huh. Cool, all right. Worked our way into Moe's room. Oh my god! So any and Miney were in the second case, and now Moe in the third case. I knew I told you there was going to be a Moe eventually. He just wasn't in the same case. I don't know who Moe is, but guess he's not here. Is that a toilet seat over there on the right? That yellow thing kind of looks like it. Hmm. It is a real mess. My room is probably worse, though. No, I don't think so, Phoenix. Well, I give up. We'll have to come back later. 
No, dude, we, we worked hard to sneak in here. Wait, can we examine? Yeah, I was gonna say. Let's see here. See, clown equipment is so funny looking. He's got a balancing ball, a unicycle. He's even got a trampoline. But they're all broken. <laughs> maybe he was just a little too excited during practice. Or maybe he had one too many Twinkies. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Most seems to be a voracious reader. Look at all the hard books he has here. Clowns for dummies, the joke's on you, treat your peons right, and the classic, funny jokes are funny. Wow, Mo is very studious. <laughs> the joke's on you, huh? Guess so. All those clown costumes lined up like that. I don't know about you, but it's creepy. I know. Boy. Must be a collection of clown costumes from around the world. Oh, I almost forgot. What is it now? <laughs> I think I'm starting a costume collection myself. I'll call it World Spirit Channels. We can display it in our office. In our office? As soon as you start paying the bills, you can say that. What? She's your partner, dude. She has helped so much. Awesome. Look at these shoes. They're great. Forget the shoes. Check out the great gag banana peel. You sure it wasn't most snack after lunch? Are you blind? Look at how many scratches there are from people slipping on it. So, I guess so. Or maybe he just plays too much Mario Kart. It looks like that's probably all. Unless... No. Unless this up here is something. There's a string of cod here. How strange. The cod seem to come in all different shapes. Weird. I can't tell if Mo just likes carrots or if he is using them for some sort of gag. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Carrots. There's gotta be something to that. Just something. What it is, I have no idea. So that was actually uh, rather uneventful. We just found a bunch of crap. Um, back to the circus entrance. So we presented some profiles to Gumshoe, but we never actually tried any profiles on the girl. So let me do that. Whoops. Let's see, examine. Not examine either. Let's present is what we want. It's the present. About your dad. After practice was over, dad went right back to his room. His room? Yes, that door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. So, uh, so he has a room too. I don't know why. He went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. Yeah, probably. Uh, anything else? What can you tell me about him? It's Max! Hey, where is Max now, anyways? You don't know? Nope. He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay, Nick and I will help him. Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. <laughs> like what? Hehe. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna say? Alright. Just out of curiosity, what do you have to say about this girl? Cool, this lady's got a whip! She's an animal tamer, huh? <laughs> uh, not exactly. Well, sort of. Two women with whips. That's my cue to shut up and act like a good boy. You said it. Alright. So can we go like... Aha, we can. Sweet. Man, look at the big gut under that suit, man. You can just tell he had to get that mannequin specially made. Because nobody would make a mannequin with a gut that big. 
this was the ringmaster's room. Yes, this room belonged to the victim. Which means this must be where Max met the ringmaster last night. Now that you mention it, that is what he said. I wonder what... Hmm, that's an interesting poster. It's a poster of Max! I want it, I want it, Nick, I want it! I want to get out of here. Okay. Let's check out that poster. There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? There are indeed. So many posters that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? My, uh, we're supposed to be the honest ones around here. But the guy's dead! He ain't gonna care! You didn't even know- what? You did- Oh, 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 oh. You're incorrigible, you know that? Alright. <laughs> we'll take it. What the hell? If it's more evidence, then it's more evidence. You may not know this, but they call this a tail coat. And they call this the face of someone who does not have any fucks left to give. Hmm. What? A scrap of white paper sticking out of the coat pocket. Huh? Where? Where? Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Oh, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Aww. So well, what does the paper say? I wanna know, dude. I want to know what you're thinking. Yeah, makeup. Quite a collection of the most understated colors. Shocking pink, for example. <laughs> All natural organic mascara. And this one says, sensitive enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lord, don't let my mascara run tonight. Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Indeed, just look at all the awards this circus has won. Like, all county quiz champions. Ringmasters Association Mini Golf Master. Beer Belly Balloon Bounce Champ. Pet Grooming Grand Prix. Wow, the ringmaster was multi-talented in ways I could have never imagined. <laughs> Beer Bouncing Belly Balloon. <laughs> oh, jeez, man. So what's up here? Yeah, I see him. It's like a guided tour of the circus's history. This is so cool, it seems like there were so many happy memories. Maybe we should do this sort of thing at our office. We can put a pictures of all the clients who have been found not guilty. What about the clients who were found guilty? Uh, they don't make games about those people, so we wouldn't know the difference anyway. We'll just pretend like they don't exist, how's that? Nick, now you got me thinking about losing cases. Why'd you do that? Well, cuz. So last but not least, I want to check out this manila envelope here. Oh, okay, it's a table too. Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. Yikes! Uh, I didn't know that a magician... This salary is incredible! Oh my gosh, what is it, 500000 a year? How much is it? How much is it? Th th that much? Incredible, huh? You can say that again. Okay, the ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise. But this document is dated a week ago. So he just got a raise a week ago, and yet he was coming in talking about getting another one? Maybe he didn't think the raise was enough? I don't know. But judging by Phoenix and Maya's reaction, it was a pretty big one. Of course, what is a big raise to someone who already makes... You know, I mean, it's all relative at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Posters are the way to go. We should make posters to promote our law firm. Spine-tingling legal action. Mind-numbing legalese. You will say, wow. Or perhaps, hold it. Don't miss out on a stunning ride. Or death country... Or death courtroom thrill ride. <laughs> With those taglines, our law firm would sink faster than the Titanic. 
Jeez. Well, that's, uh, that pretty much covers it, I think. I think maybe now we have enough evidence to... to go after... what's-his-face now? Mr. Maximilian. Gonna blow my nose again. Gonna blow my nose. <laughs> oh, I got your nose, you're one nasty critter. So let's move out to the hub. It's always good to get it in your head and remember what the hub is. So you know to go there. Like in between when you're going from one place to another that's really far away. So we're going to have to hurry this up here. Max isn't here. He must be in questioning. Oh, I wanted to see a magic trick. He should be back in a little bit. Uh, I guess so. Okay, so we missed something. Did we? Maybe we gotta go back and present some of that evidence to Gumshu that we picked up? That actually sounds like a good idea. Let's see, I'd like to know what he has to say about this raise thing. You know, I can't tell you too th anything to... I can't tell you two anything about the evidence we've gathered. Stingy. Stingy? When you put it so bluntly, it kind of hurts my feelings, pal. Aw. Here, I stole a poster. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Alright. And you gave me the hat, so there's really nothing to say about that. Uh, well. We don't have anything else in the profiles here, so... I guess... Did I show her the hat? So is it your idea to wear the hat? Really? <laughs> he took my sketch to the hat shop, and they made a custom hat for him based off of the sketch. There's only one of these silk hats in the entire world, isn't that cool? Something tells me that's gonna be important. What do you think, bud? Yep, my butt agrees. Alright. Mm. All these frames look the same. They almost look like thank you cards. It looks like every year the ringmaster made donations to charity. To the Robot Clown Research Center. You're kidding, right? What? They may be a perfectly reputable charity in the field of advanced tomfoolery. <laughs> Okay. Maybe he was hoping they would invent a robot clown so he wouldn't have to pay people to do it. Okay, sorry guys. I wish I could record more, but like, I tried to get one more video out before that appointment I was talking about in the last video at 10 o'clock. Now it's 9.30, so I really gotta go this time. So, sorry about that. Okay, anyway. So next, so I'll see you guys next time. I'm Phoenix Ride. Goodbye. I love you. Bye.